So welcome to your interior or the dashboard of your MG ZS guys. This is how it looks and how it feels when you're gonna own one for yourself. Okay, what do you think of the dashboard? Let me know in the comments. So let's start with your material here for your dashboard. Honestly, I think that this is not just a cheap material that they've used here. Impressive. Okay, you have this silver accent from your air conditioning to your side on your passenger doors here at the top so you have uh, you don't have black headliner here for the mgzs for your sun visors you don't have mirrors and lights that's a bit sad for your passenger princess but here as well for your driver you don't have one as well as a driver you don't have mirrors or lights so yeah that's a bit of a bummer but here at the middle you have your dome lights guys controls for the left the right and then here at the middle you have the option to turn this on when the doors are opening you'll have the lights to be turned on as well so that's really cool you have your day and night rear view mirrors manual and then here below like i mentioned your air conditioning system this is actually unique guys i really love the design here for the mgzs it's very unique so you can see all those chrome accents, I love them. And then you have this uh, carbon looking design, which they have put premium material here, guys. It's very soft touch. And you have stitching as well, okay? Red stitchings over here at the front. And then for your glove box compartment, let's try to see. One. Okay, it doesn't. So at least you have that and you have a very deep amount of space for your glove compartment so going back to your steering wheels guys you have this flat uh, bottom here i really like this form factor for a steering wheel and the leather steering wheel as well guys you have this uh, perforated material here for your thumb rest area and then you have controls here and then at the middle you have your mg logo and then here at the right side you have your other controls as well for your car and your voice command so that's it for your steering wheel now let's check if it's tilt and telescopic so so far good news it tilts but does it telescope mm. so it doesn't telescope guys only tilt so over here at the left side you have your controls for your side mirrors both left and right and then you have your uh, beam adjustment as well which is really cool I don't see that much with other brands so that's really nice that you have it there then here your awesome looking blower and then you have your lock and unlock for your doors here very accessible by your door latch and then you have here your windows okay controls for your windows very simple and minimal and then you just have fabric guys here for your uh, padding for your elbows Okay, but it's comfortable enough. And then you have this leather looking material, but it's actually plastic. Okay, then you have this space right here. And then at the bottom, you have a bottle holder, which is really big. And then you have some space here. And for your instrument cluster, you have this silver accent and then combination of analog and a digital display at the middle so that carbon looking material guys you're gonna see them from that side over here at the middle which continues on for that sporty vibe okay then for your infotainment screen it's large enough guys i love it it's very huge and you have your controls here for your air conditioning system and then here below you have your usb ports usb type a you have two of them and your cigarette lighter socket here you have a space for your coins very nice then you have your safety controls right here guys still you have that carbon looking finish at this side of the vehicle the middle part so still here for your gear shifter you they maintain this design the style that they have for their gear shifters you have a button here at the back so here are your gears and then this is the good thing about this car guys you have electronic parking brakes and auto hold system so it's really great for the city right and then next you have this glossy black finish fingerprint magnet but i really like that uh, glossy black look and then you have this cup holders you have two of them i think this will be more on for the small to medium kind of drinks and then here you have some space more space for your coins 
or some little like uh, items and then let's go to your uh, leather armrest so for this one you have leather i really like that it's leather wide enough so for opening her up guys you don't have any like mechanism or latch but you just pull them immediately then you can have access to your cubby hole um it's not that deep to be honest compared to the other uh, mg vehicles that i've tested okay it's not too deep so usually other cars have a cigarette lighter socket here inside but for mg they didn't put one here so for your headroom guys very good amount of head space okay and then for your leg room very excellent as well i can freely move around my feet here which is really what you want as a driver so now we've seen how awesome it is here at the front as a driver and as a first row passenger so now let's go over to the second row and see what we have there all right so welcome to the second row of the mgzs guys in terms of the headspace it's a very good amount of space and then for your leg space this is actually the setting that i uh, made with the driver still uh, you can live with this in the second row as a 5-8 person this is your view from the second row seats from the back seat of the mgzs what do you think guys let me know in the comments very amazing looking dashboard okay sporty vibe and then you have here good news you have this rear ventilation for the second row seats and then you have usb ports as well for your back seat passengers you don't have a space here to put your phones but yeah uh, you have pockets oh sorry you don't have pockets you don't have pockets here okay so that's a bit of uh downside but yeah uh, maybe you can find ways with that in regards to the center tunnel guys i'll be honest it's quite high it's quite high guys so uh, you might want to consider that if uh, you're someone who always sits at the back row but yeah uh overall still it's really good uh, amount of space so now let's try to see if you have a center armrest unfortunately i don't think you have a center armrest as a second row or a backseat passenger so yeah that's also one of the things that i look forward to in terms of the second row so like i said i really love this car honestly guys uh just fell in love with the design uh, it has all of the basic features that i'll want and need for a daily driver it has the high ground clearance which i really like overall i really like this car and uh you know my thoughts about the uh chinese brands right uh, with our previous videos but i must say that these chinese car brands have been releasing some very interesting cars as well especially with a crossover segment so i'm also kind of looking into those other brands recently so that's very interesting subscribe for that but so far uh or just looking back in the past if i had to make the choice and uh, choosing a chinese car brand i believe that uh, this would be it the mgzs would be the car that i would buy if we're just talking about my knowledge so far of chinese car brands but like i said it's gonna be very interesting especially now that i'm starting to be exposed and having to know some of these other chinese car brands so i think that's it for this video guys a huge shout out to the mg cebu central team they have been very amazing thank you so much for our good friends who has been very accommodating to us and yeah not to mention thank you so much for the uh, merch libre cap from mg cebu central again if you're interested in any mg vehicles please contact them today you can find their contact number on the description thank you so much mg cebu central if you found this video helpful consider to subscribe like comment and share this to your loved ones and friends this has been ronnie with project gentlemen reminding you that when we seek god first all of the things that we need will be added unto us and that's when we truly win in life. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Ciao.